It's Madden NFL Football. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's the home team taking on the visiting team. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between our visitors and our home team. and I have been looking forward to this one all week and we are underway here on EA Sports and he opts to not bring this one out the first drive will start at the 25 so out comes this offense to take over for the first time and out will come the leader of this offense and that of course is their signal caller and what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. I thought the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Can't get away, and he's taken down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. A lot of talk the other day about them wanting to quiet this home crowd early and often. Very first play of the game, they do just that. You're exactly right about that because that's often a conversation when you go on the road and you travel. Hey, let's take the crowd out of it. What a great way of doing so by putting the quarterback on the deck. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Gotta say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Brings up second and three. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle it. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. Back to throw now on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Here's the second and seven. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First drive of the game. We did see this in practice, didn't we? Because they allowed us to stay and watch and see what their opening script would be, even though we don't know the exact play calls. That looks a lot like what we saw them execute, doesn't it? It really does. And in practice, it wasn't about a lot of big shots on that opening drive. They wanted to put together a series of plays, sustain it. They've done that. The defense now on their heels a little. That, is, that they are. And you know what else is happening now? They're gaining information. They're gaining knowledge about how the defense is planning on playing them. So not only are they being successful on this drive, they're filing things away for future drives in this game. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Holmes. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first thanks to a flashy little spin move. Big completion. 
position there on third and short keeps their opening drive alive. Not only alive, but plenty of possibilities now. First and goal, and you know me, I'm a big advocate. If you're going to throw the ball, throw it early in the down and distance count. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising. They wanted people getting to the ball. Touchdown! It's complete from four yards out. And this offense takes the ball down the field and scores on their opening drive. It goes. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25 yard line. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. <laughs> I agree with you. You know, a lot of guys would say great receiver, right? A terrific offensive line. But I agree with you, balance, because if you can run the ball effectively, that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. And they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. A gain of eight there on the play, and that'll make it second down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. Sanders. Under pressure and down he goes. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Looking to throw. Sanders. Going right side here, and that's complete. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Here's Sanders. Off play action. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. They're going to try and throw. is taking him one-handed. What a catch. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They'll look to throw again. And a dangerous throw there. Incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now well, this throw caught left side, and he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Now left side on the swing pass. They'll contain him to just four, second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Oh, a scrap for the football. A 
and he's going to come down with it. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. They'll try and run it in. It's Richardson. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Taking it in from two yards out. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Now the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. And after the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Holmes has got it complete. And he's got some space here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play that time on the catch and run. It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. He'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Back to throw here. He gets it to Sims, complete. That catch good for only a couple. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Call it a gain of three on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Touchdown here in this first half. 
And his guys have taken the lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They start on the ground. It's Richardson fighting through. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Second down, it's Richardson. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. Richardson, and he's gonna have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. I always appreciate runners who understand situations. That was just third and inches. No reason to dance around in the backfield and try and break off a bigger play. Just go pick up the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's green. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in a field goal range down at the 27-yard line. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL they're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Now Sanders on first and 10. And a high throw there as this is knocked away, down to the ground and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent. And that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great play there. 27 yards. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. CD for them, this has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Extra points safely through. And we are tied here in the second quarter. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And Carolina scores to cap it off. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. This offense back to work now late in this first half as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll look to throw. And that one off the mark behind him. Incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Back 
to throw again. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. Well, distance wasn't the problem, but he did need some help from the right upright, and he got it, a little kiss and in. Yeah, unfortunately, he caught on the inside of the upright, and that pushed it through. This isn't like a baseball foul pole where you hit any part of it and it counts. It's got to go through the post. If he hits it on the outside, that's no good. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon God. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. They find themselves trailing on the scoreboard, but it certainly hasn't been because of what they've been able to do at the receiver position. And let's face it, partner, we've been around a lot of receivers. Has it ever been their fault when things aren't going well? We <laughs> know point. how they operate, right? And right now, what they're saying is, well, guess what? If we want to win, throw it to us even more. We're the ones making the plays. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Here's Richardson to start the drive. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. On the ground, here's Richardson again. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Sanders from the gun on third down. And caught right side, Green. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A big connection on that one, 31 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. On first down, it's Richardson. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after that strong run we witnessed. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Off the play fake. Sanders. Touchdown! That's caught. A 14-yard touchdown. And his guys are going to retake the lead. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Point after here coming up. It's up 
and good to make it 21-17. So the drive there took six plays, and Carolina scores to cap it off. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent is still the same in what they plan to do on offense. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. He'll look to throw. Well, that one sailed a bit, but the catch is still made. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They'll set up to throw. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. The throw taken in by Sims. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game. And oh, it's complete. What a catch at the 7. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook. But oh, so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Back to throw. This is caught. Touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And his guys have once again taken the lead. Certainly, there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast. But a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired. But the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Point after, right down the middle. And that gives them a three-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Carolina offense about ready to go. It sees the lead there for a little bit with a starting drive in the third quarter, but a moment ago, the touchdown that puts them back behind. So their defense is under siege a little bit right now because they have not able to solve their opponents. They've got to keep hammering away on offense and try and win this one in what appears to be a shootout. Back to throw. Sanders. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. They'll run on first down. Richardson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. To throw with Sanders. From the gun, he'll throw. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Oh, 
on first down. It's Richardson. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. They'll run again with Richardson. And he gets it down to the 32. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now a give right side. It's Richardson, and he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 74 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Sanders now on first down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And his guys have taken the lead here in the fourth. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And that will make this a four-point game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Brown now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The home side once again ready to take over offensively. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Steps away to his, and I think the ball's out. It's going the other way. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football, and they still find ways to knock it free. Second down, here's an option right. Oh, that's just not fair, and now run to run. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. They'll run on first down. Richardson. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners 
taking care of the football because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That's a gain of four here in the fourth quarter with them leading by four on the scoreboard. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. It's Richardson. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six now defensively here we're going to get a timeout it's just their first they'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter one of the bigger plays in the game thus far the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down and he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first now a stoppage here. We'll get another timeout. That's going to be their second. They'll be left with one more plus the two-minute warning, and we'll be back. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This is less than an extra point, just a 19-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that'll make this a seven-point game. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. They'll look to throw here on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Being chased down left. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Second time he's fumbled in this game. Fortunate for him, this one goes out of bounds. And the key for him now is how much equity have you built up with your coaching staff? How much equity have you built up with your team to continue to get opportunities? Fortunate that one went out. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the defense will get their hands on it. Going the other way. to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on, and that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. That one looks like he'll throw here. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Here's Sanders. Off the play fake. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Now Sanders. 
Throwing on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And as a result, possession switches hands. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. He lost nine there. That's really going to set him back for second down. They'll look to throw. In trouble. And it looks like the offense did get the football back, but it is clearly in that end zone, and it's going to be a safety. What a gut punch. That should be the nail in the coffin with those two points making this a two-score game now with time, Charles, clearly not on their side. Yeah, they have to give the football away as well. Had a chance. Yeah, it was a small chance to get down the field, but guess what? This one's now just about over. Carolina getting set to take the field. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. So this one is over. A victory for Carolina. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but they were able to get the job done, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> no doubt about it. And let's face it, they had to be more than nervous in the fourth quarter. But a lot of that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right? That reserve tank, they hauled it out. Offense scored some points, defense held them, and lo and behold, they walk away with a win. Maybe expend a little more energy than they expected to, but they'll take it. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.